All right, back to Ricky Steamboat. Your tag team run with him doesn't last all that long. Uh, the last time that you <clears throat> were a tag team is November 29th, and it's in a losing effort to Ole Anderson and Roddy Piper in Charlotte, North Carolina. A bunch mm. of guys that would be going on to have incredible success, become Hall of Famers and whatnot. Uh, any recollection of working with Piper and Ole? Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> Why is that? Well, because well, Roddy wanted to work and Ole wanted to make you miserable. <laughs> <laughs> So they did both. They worked and they made us miserable. You know, I just discovered Oli uh, about two years ago. I'm a, I'm a wrestling fan, but, you know, it's my era was the 90s. And uh, working on on Arn Anderson's podcast, I became familiar with Oli. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, this guy's a hell of a promo. But then you start to hear all the things behind the scenes about him. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah, maybe he wasn't that easy to get along with all the time. It was real hard to get along with, brother. So, man, awesome worker and a hell of a promo. Just, man, yeah. some of the horror stories you hear. My goodness. Yeah, he was just like his promos. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a shoot. Yeah. Really oh, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. 